I'm curious what your first reaction was when Bradley offered you this opportunity, because you do wear a lot of hats in this production, so was there anything in particular that made you think, like, wait, can, can we actually pull this off here? Well, it was the first day we met. Uh, uh, first of all, I'd known him through, I saw Jimmy Fallon, um, and he did an air guitar performance of Down by the River, which really blew my mind. I thought that was great. And so when he asked me to come, I said, sure, because I knew he was a Neil Young fan. And, and I always say there's two types of people, Neil Young fans and non-Neil Young fans. And so uh, I, I loved him already for that. And so once I heard him singing a Creedence Clearwater song, Midnight Special, um, and I heard him nailing it, then I thought, okay, well, this can be done. And I definitely want to be a part of it because I respect his, uh, his, his craft. What's the uh, biggest difference in uh, just the regular music producing you do and producing something for the screen, especially something for the screen where it's not just about a performance, it's about a performance that parallels their journey as characters. Yeah, I mean, you're writing for characters that, that m maybe sometimes aren't necessarily you. So that's an added challenge, although there was an ease to this one because the characters were very close to home for me, and so I was able to write songs that I would sing myself, and that's, that was made it easier. And there's also the interesting choice of actually performing these live when you shoot the scenes. Right. So how many times do you go through this? Is there a point where you gotta you know, push stop because you get burnt out? Yeah, I mean, no, it, you know, the only problem with filming was getting up early. That's my problem. That's a reasonable like problem to early. have. <laughs> we would nail it in the studio. We got the track mm -hmm. and then we would perform them, them live with the track and they would sing along to it. So a lot of, so, so we, so, you know, we did, I don't know, we, we did a bunch of takes, but but at least we'd gotten the, we, we'd recorded the music already. So we're playing it, but then we, you know, as we're filming, it's, I mean, it's impossible, it would be impossible to, to do it any other way, I think. It's abundantly clear that Bradley is very naturally talented when it comes to his musical abilities, but yeah. this is taking it to another level. So I kind of want to steal whatever advice you gave him, especially with the guitar, because I've played saxophone all my life and then I wanted to play guitar, but, there's just something about it that never really clicked. So is there any piece of advice that you gave him that might help other aspiring artists out there? What I know is that when you have an ear for music, if you can hear what the right tone is, the right note, if you can, if you can recognize the right note, then you, the battle's already won. And it's just a matter of training yourself to produce that note. And, and uh, you know, and that's just muscle memory and, you know, your, your voice, your throat is, is an instrument in itself and, and, you know, your hands are muscles that can be, can manipulate an instrument in order to produce a certain note. So all you have to do is be able to hear if it sounds good and that's the battle. Really. So for singing, do you believe that if someone can hear the note, they can, no matter what, actually... Oh yeah, absolutely. I can hear the note, I can't sing for shit. <laughs> But that's because you haven't practiced in the right way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then maybe you, maybe maybe we could sit down. <laughs> Whenever you're free. Okay. Thank you so much.